The holiday screen and element time scheduling app exists for one simple reason. We just want to give you a warning if you do schedule work on a statutory holiday. It's still going to let you schedule work on those days, but you'll see a little exclamation mark icon for any work scheduled on a holiday. That can be a visual indicator that you may want to move it sooner than later. Every state, province, and country has its own holidays, and every year some of those holidays are going to change dates. So you need to set up your holidays if you want these warnings. If you don't set up any holidays, you just won't get warnings. In order to do that, start by adding the schedule year down here. So I want to pick, for example, 2015 and add that holiday year schedule. I've already created it, so I'll hit the cancel button. Once you've created a schedule year, you'll see a blank list of dates. And here you can see I've already created some. To add a holiday to your year's calendar, simply go down to the bottom right and click Add Holiday. Here you're going to pick the date. and then enter the name. You may find that the name fills itself out for some commonly known holidays like Christmas and New Year's. If it's a more unique holiday, you'll have to enter the name manually. Click OK, and now that name will show up here on the holiday calendar. All this is going to do is create a warning icon anytime a scheduled event is scheduled on holiday. Once again, you'll still be able to schedule work on holidays, and you'll still be able to track time on holidays. You'll just get a warning if you do schedule work on those days.